Hello and welcome to my channel Lord of the Smart Rings, CES 2025. For several years now, I've been observing this conference from a distance. I've been entertained by the endless dream of copy-paste articles on the internet, where excessive enthusiasm, half-truth, misunderstanding all blend together. In this video, I will try to keep things grounded, let the copy-paste uh, shortcuts rest on the keyboard and share my own perspective on the smart rings showcased at CES 2025. We will take a look at the following. Circular ring 2, ECG, FIP, vibrations. Then we will take a look at uh, Velia ring. Is this finally the year of the release of Velia ring? Then Biff ring for uh, dancing and listening. Uh, also ultra human rare, maybe too shining or too expensive. Kemi Vision, aka Daring, focused on seniors. Then of course Luna Ring 2, maybe a new battery champion. And also we will take a look at Rincon 2 Air, which is kind of new ring but very similar to ring kong 2 and also ev ring with new ai chat and of course uh, samsung galaxy ring welcome to new markets so let's get started circular ring 2 the biggest sensation in the smart ring space this year surprisingly comes from France. Circular, a long-standing competitor in this field, was one of the first brands to challenge Aura's dominance. As a long-time user, I personally own three vibrating circular rings, one Pro and two Slims. I was expecting a successor to the Pro version, specifically one with a unique hardware button. It seems certain that the Circular 2 will not have a button. Most articles highlighting the Circular 2 focus on the following key aspects. ECG Circular is trying to make a mark as a first smart ring to offer an electrocardiogram, aka ECG. While some smartwatches already have this feature, Circular aims to bring it to a ring. AFib detection. Detecting atrial fibrillation, AFib, is still a unique feature in the smart ring category. When one exception, Alter Human Air offers AFib detection via power plugs. Digital sizing kit. This eliminates the need for plastic rings to determine the correct size. However, this is a second place achievement since Ultrahuman introduced the first app for sizing called Ring Sizer. I remain a traditionalist and still prefer using a physical sizing kit, as app can't account for small things like finger swelling at night, etc. Battery life up to 8 days. This information lacks context specifically whether Circular will continue offering two modes echo and performance. Reports from CES however barely address the most crucial point – vibrations. There is speculation that the Circular 2 might lose what has long been its standout feature – vibrations. In my view, this would be a serious misstep, like shooting themselves in the foot or finger. Coincidentally, I'm currently in the middle of warranty claim for my Circular Slim. As a part of the process, I was offered a 75% discount on the new Circular 2. Naturally, this raised the question, will the Circular 2 still include vibrations? A bit of marketing fluff aside, and yes, Circular 2 is expected to have vibrations. Some insider speculators suggest that the Circular might release two versions of the second generation, one with vibration and one without, essentially a parallel to Circular Slim and Circular Slim Lite. Charging. It seems that Circular will do away with its charging pins. 
switching to contactless charging instead. Definitely good news. Reliability and brand reputation. Circular has significant room for improvement in the reliability of its products. Both of my slim rings have already gone to the silicon heaven and in strengthening its brand reputation. It's not hard to find forums filled with dissatisfied customers complaining about defective rings, refunds and less waiting times on or similar issues. It seems that Circular, after many experiments, uh, is settling into the mainstream lane. This is sometimes a good thing, for example contactless charging, and sometimes not. Especially if Reina is wrong and the ring ultimately doesn't have vibration. Let's also be cautious about whether the new features are merely a nice item in a marketing brochure. For example, if you own a watch with ECG, hand on heart, how many times have you actually used it? Valia Ring The Swiss have been fine-tuning their potentially revolutionary ring for far too long. I am one of the backers of the original crowdfunding campaign and I have witnessed more than a few twists and rapid developments. This include the ring's name change from Iris to Velia, issues with not including shipping cost, reduction in the range of ring sizes available and more. However, it must be said that the Velia looks truly impressive in terms of dimensions. From the sizing kit alone, it's evident that the ring's width is roughly half uh, that of its competitors. One of the additional advantages of the Velia ring, which also addresses a common drawback of competing rings, is that you don't have to worry about the ring's position on the ring. This is because the Velia has the PPG sensors distributed around the entire inner part of the ring. Wifring. Wifring is an entitled new name to me. A new name in the smart market often means it's a clone, a rebranded, mass-produced ring. However, in the case of the WIF ring, it's not a clone. It's a new product from a South Korean manufacturer. While searching for relevant information, I had to face a lot of marketing buzzwords like intuitive, beyond biometric measurements and generative sleep aid sound. The ring is meant to generate AI personalized sounds to support sleep based on measured data, the usual metrics like heart rate, oximeter, HRV, etc. These sounds consist of natural recordings such as ocean waves, rain or bird songs combined with monaural and binaural tones aimed at improving sleep quality. I will leave it to you to form your own opinion. There is no mention or whether the ring will have a speaker or if, as I suspect, a mobile phone and their app will be required. It's expected to be available in February 2025. Ultra Human Rare Ultra Human is updating its smart ring or rather the Ultra Human app at a rapid pace. At the same time, the Air ring remains a better standard in terms of size. I wasn't expecting any major or meaningful announcements. However, Ultrahuman still tried to make a big splash by combining the jewelry with a smart under the banner of the new Ultrahuman Air. To put it, to put it simply, uh, it's an Ultrahuman Air dressed up in precious metal. In a way, a response to Aura and Gucci. As far as I'm concerned, a smart ring is worth more than gold. Variable electronics become obsolete very quickly. In two years, you will be scratching your head wondering how to scrape the gold off an outdated $2000 smart ring. Personally, I am more excited about the Ultra Human Home, which has already been discussed on the website lordofthesmartrings.com. Chemivision or Daring. I've Long been expecting smart ring producers to focus more on seniors. 
One company now targeting this group is Chemivision. They primarily manufacture cameras capable of detecting falls in seniors' home. Their system can call for help when a fall is detected. The smart ring is intended to be an additional piece of the puzzle for monitoring the health status of the patient. It's definitely a good idea. However, I feel some skepticism because Chemivision didn't put much effort into hardware development and simply acquired a clone. Lunar Ring 2 The Lunar Ring hasn't been available globally until now. That's set to change with the second generation, which promises an impressive selling point. 30 days of battle life. This could create quite a bit of noise because the company noise is behind this ring otherwise it features fairly standard dimensions and typical sensor equipment they are trying to leverage once again uh, with AI AI advisor for notation and training etc Rincon 2 Air Rincon is writing a story at CES somewhat similar to Ultra Human the new ring, generation 2, was introduced fairly recently, so there wasn't any major reveal. Instead, they created a new variations of the ring con 2 with the sublabels Air and Galaxy. For now, it seems to be about adding new colors to the original trio of variation. It's clearly an offensive move aimed to Ultra Human Air and Samsung Galaxy rings perhaps just an attempt at search engine um, battle. Rincon also mentions uh, other minor improvements on its website such as ring engraving. EV ring. The EV ring, a ring specifically designed for women, has pulled out the classic trick AI. It's an AI chatbot. From the preview it's clear that at least in the beta version, the AI model has been limited, which with users allowed only 25 questions per week. An AI chatbot uh, isn't new in the wearable market. Aura, Circular, Rincon and Hoop, for example, have been experimenting with this for quite some time. Samsung Galaxy Ring Samsung has announced the launch of its ring on additional markets, particularly in Europe. This is essentially good news for Samsung fans, or should we call them Samsungists? I've been wearing the Samsung ring for a long time, collecting a wealth of data in the process. I'm planning to release a follow-up to the article, to one uh, which was already published on the website lordofthesmartrings.com. Um, I find uh, one particular feature interesting made possible by the Samsung ecosystem integration with other Samsung electronics through smart things which is smart home platform this could enable the app for example advise you in the future in the first half of 2025 on whether the temperature in your bedroom is ideal for your sleep and more Additionally, some updates are expected to roll out for the Samsung Health app. I've personally already noticed the beta version of a mindfulness feature. By 2025, I might already be saying for the third year in a row that we are witnessing the biggest boom in smart rings. And why not? The momentum keeps building and the market continues to expand. Why? Clearly, there is significant demand. Additionally, the profit margins on the rings are substantial, make it, making it a lucrative business. That's why I appreciate brands to come up with their own solutions rather than merely being a collection of standardized components. Or worse, a buzzword generator throwing around terms like AI intuitive, smartest or even a roundest of the round. Do you have any additions or questions? Feel free to leave a comment here on, on my website. Thank you very much and cheers.